Let's look at some examples of Newton's first and second law. Okay, uh, here I am in an airplane traveling at 500 kilometers per hour. I'm standing in the airplane, and the airplane's moving at 500 kilometers per hour, and I'm on the airplane, so I must be moving at 500 kilometers per hour, and I jump up and down. Now, two things can happen. I jump up and down, and I stay with the plane though, and when the plane gets over here, I land back in the same spot on the plane, but the plane is over here. Or, I jump up, the plane continues at 500 kilometers per hour, which means I go shooting back to the back of the airplane and hit the bathroom door at the back at 500 kilometers per hour. Well, you've probably been on a plane, you know what happens. You jump up and down, and you continue on with the plane, as if nothing has happened. Because Newton's first law says, if the forces on you are balanced, then you will continue doing what you're doing. You will remain at rest or uniform motion in a straight line. The plane's moving at 500 kilometers per hour. I'm moving at 500 kilometers per hour. I jump up and down. I continue moving at 500 kilometers per hour because nothing is slowing me down. Now, if I was standing on the outside of the plane, on the wing, and the plane was going at 500 kilometers per hour, when I jump up, the plane would continue on and I would fall to my death. Why is that? Because when I'm on the outside of the plane, there is an unbalanced force. And so I will not continue doing what I was doing. I will accelerate, according to Newton's second law. I will accelerate because the force of the wind is on me, so I will accelerate this, this, this direction, which means I'll slow down. The plane will continue at 500 kilometers per hour, and I will fall to my death. Let's look at another example. You're in a boat, and you're at the top of the boat, and it's sailing this way. You drop a marble as the boat is moving. Maybe the boat's moving at 10 kilometers per hour. Where will the marble land? Will it land down here? <clears throat> or will it continue on and land over here in the water, just below where you would have dropped it? Well, the boat's moving at 10 kilometers per hour to the right. The marble is moving at 10 kilometers per hour to the right. Objects that have no forces on them or no unbalanced forces will continue doing what they're doing. Yes, there is gravity. Gravity's unbalanced and it's going to cause it to fall down. But in this direction, there's no unbalanced force if we ignore, ignore the little bit of air resistance. So this marble is going to fall, it's going to continue moving forward as it's falling and land here. It is not going to land over here because it was moving at 10 kilometers per hour. What made it slow down and stop and fall straight down if it was moving at that point? Nothing, except as I said, a little bit of air resistance. So here's two examples of objects with the forces on them balanced, so they continue doing what they're doing. Another good example is you're in your car driving at 100 kilometers per hour this way and you've got a coin in your hand. If you flip the coin up in the air, does the coin continue with you in the car moving forward at 100 kilometers per hour, or does it end up in the back seat? Well, the car is moving forward at 100 kilometers per hour. You flip the coin up, the coin is moving forward at 100 kilometers per hour because it was in your hand. There's nothing stopping it from moving forward at 100 kilometers per hour, so it will continue. When there's no unbalanced force, objects continue doing what they're doing. If that coin was moving at 100 kilometers per hour, it'll land in your hand. Now, if the sunroof is open and you flip the coin up, when it gets above the sunroof, the air resistance is much greater, and so what will happen is the coin will slow down and move backwards relative to you. So basically, it'll slow down and you'll continue at 100 kilometers per hour. So as you can see, Newton's first and second law, you have to first understand, are the forces balanced or unbalanced? If they're balanced, this is what's going to happen. If they're unbalanced, this is what's going to happen.